Hey, hey, YouTubes. Um, we're out here in the shop, obviously. Um, and I said that I would uh, give you a little bit of information on here. I kind of swept over this when I was doing the walk around of the shop, but yeah, you should remember this as Denny's Jeep. I had this one out at the ranch. It was one of those ones I was uh, supposed to work on, and I eventually did. I got the motor put in it. Motor runs pretty good. You should actually get to hear it run today unless something goes completely and utterly haywire. Um, but, uh, yeah, you should get to. But there's, I got a lot of things going on today. I sh uh, I'm supposed to be getting a call from a guy to go pick up uh, that 400 I was talking about. And, um, but anyway, so the story on this thing goes that uh, I was supposed to put a motor in it for Denny and I did I put the motor in and it promptly overheated on the way over there Denny said not a big deal don't worry about it just take care of it when you can well things getting the way they did at the ranch I uh, did not have time to deal with it and did not have time this is about a year later and I'm finally getting around to it now that I have my own place to work. So what had happened was I put the old radiator in it and uh, it had been sitting open and I did not flush it out and there was a bunch of gooeys and nasties in it. So I've seen this happen once before and my suspicion is, see we did change the thermostat, that is one thing that we did do, but uh, my suspicion is that the uh, radiator's plugged up and so that's why it's overheating. Uh, that remains to be seen, but in the meantime, I am going to put a radiator, this radiator here, which is the radiator I should have used in the first place, in this spot. So, not a huge deal. I've got to, I think, undo two more lines down in there and then we should be just about ready to pull it out four bolts and lift it on out of there I got it drained already I drained it last night while I was puttering around in here but um, yeah so nothing to it let's get going so it's kinda exciting for me this is the first project that I get to do complete in the garage in the new garage and I've really been just ecstatically excited about it because I can actually take my time. I can do all the little things that I wanted to do. I actually fixed some trim pieces last night. I'm going to try and fix the back window um, so that it rolls down so that you can actually get into the back hatch compartment. But, I mean, we'll see if that happens or not. I don't know that it will or won't. And there's just, just it's it's nice. It's nice to be able to work in here, and and uh, it's nice to be able to video it again. It's been so long since I've been able to do that. And, you know, really, I hadn't hadn't honestly done a whole lot on the ranch in the last five months. I mean, I've been working a whole heck of a lot at at the factory. You know, they've been pretty short-handed. Anybody out there want a job at a sugar factory? Hey, hey, hey. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Just nice to be able to work in my own shop. I like it. And this is kind of starting to turn into a nice area anyways. Nice place to work. Nice place to be.
<clears throat> there we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so you can see what it is I was talking about. Well, let me take the stand off the camera so you can see what it is I'm talking about. See that goo built up down there? That's what we had in the radiator. Or in the motor, one of the two, because the motor and the radiator both side open. But, changing out this radiator should, by rights, uh, take care of all that. So, that's what we're going to do. So, pretty straightforward putting this thing back in, really. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that radiator back in and then we'll uh, burp out the system and maybe talk a little bit about that. And then we'll get to uh, see if we can't fire it up. I do have a, an exhaust leak to fix, but you know, that's not a right away thing. I want to get it running and make sure it isn't going to over overheat before I put too much time into everything else because hopefully we don't have something like a bad head gasket or some such nonsense but we shall find out so I'm going to go ahead and get her done okay so we got it all put together I've been fighting a couple little issues here I had it idling out in the driveway I'm not getting any heat up to the heater and I'm kinda wondering if the uh, if the uh, water pump isn't bad as well uh, got me a little curious but uh, and it's not showing anything on the temp gauge but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. 255,000 mile Jeep. Expect some things to not work. I also can't find the danged um, temperature sending unit. So I've still got to look for that a little bit, but uh, it doesn't seem to be getting too hot or anything like that. Um, just pressuring up pretty good, but I mean, that's fairly normal. Uh, the other reason I thought maybe the uh, water pump was going bad is I was getting a leak right off the bottom of the front of the crank and so I tightened up some clamps down in here and then the other problem I found was that there's a little arm here that uh, that equalizes this windshield wiper as it comes around and it was flopping off of this little pin down there because it's missing the end of it where there's supposed to be a clip so my solution for that was actually just to zip tie that equalizer arm there and the windshield wiper works just the same as it would it just doesn't stay at a that that arm there is just designed to make it stay at a certain level all the way and now it just it just works like a regular wiper which is no big deal <laughs> but uh... yeah i uh... Got it all bled out, and hopefully here we'll be able to take a ride, but it's about 17 degrees outside, and I really don't feel like driving around uh, without a heater, so that's one of the first things I'll take care of. Also found a vacuum leak, and I think I need to richen up the mixture a little bit, but nothing major there. Uh, more or less kind of ready to run, hopefully, if, uh, if, that's an if, the uh, leak is shored up. So I'm going to go ahead and back it out and we'll let it idle a little longer, see if we can get some heat into it and make sure it doesn't overheat. Uh, might take it for a quick drive. And uh, yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just see what happens here.